What if you could save one year's worth of income tax while working from an island paradise? Well, if you're an independent professional, such as a freelancer or contract worker, there's a way to do it, perfectly legal. Let's talk about it in virtual coffee chat with Luis. So I am Luis and this is my coffee, in this case an espresso and my a little espresso cup as Fernando Pessoa, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Portuguese poets. Uh, the reason uh, this is a, a Portuguese team is because, well, it was uh, Portugal is my homeland, and it was Portuguese Day last week, Portugal Day last week, and I actually couldn't <laughs> mention that in my virtual coffee chat because because it was a holiday. I had to record it. I, I had to record it earlier, so. So anyway, but today's news is actually very Portuguese themed, so it's a good time for me to record while uh, drinking my traditional espresso shot. So, mm. if you haven't tried espresso, I highly recommend it. I can't go back to normal coffee. Well, I, that, that's not true. Sometimes I go back to normal coffee, but it's just so nice. Uh, in any case... So, I want to talk to you about Cabo Verde, which in Portuguese, you know, it, to English it translates uh, something like Green Cape. And uh, it's one of the ex-Portuguese colonies off the coast of Africa. It's now an independent island country and it is beautiful. It, it has everything you'd associate with an island paradise, blue, blue seas, you know, green forests, blue skies as well. A very, very nice baseline temperature. It's really cool. But what's coolest even is that they are trying to attract digital nomads to their shores. So, the current plan to which anyone in Europe, the US or, the, or Portuguese speaking countries, so basically most of the world can apply to, is uh, a program that will give you uh, a six-month visa for you and your family for the very, very low price of, of something like 50 bucks a person. So quite low for six months and uh, extensible to a full year so that you can work from there, right? It's a work visa. You can work, you can apply. If you get the visa, you can work from there. And while you're working from there, if you're uh, obviously if you don't have responsibilities in in the other countries if you're basically a, a contractor worker or freelancer uh, you don't have to pay any income tax so basically you get to do the work that you're doing from an island paradise with no income tax whatsoever you're not obliged to play to pay income tax there right now obviously if you're not a contract worker or a freelancer, I mean, if you're not an independent worker, you might have commitments, right, to the company that you work with, to the to the country of the com where the company you work for is based. So you know, I can't talk about that. But for those kinds of professionals, it seems like a very sweet deal. That visa costs almost nothing. There's, uh, I would uh, urge you to search for this soon because there's a limited supply. They are counting on, on doing like something like 4,000 uh, 4, of the things. So I would definitely urge you to, to try it out because it is a beautiful, beautiful country. And again, this is, this is one of the things that I like the most about remote work is that it, it really allows, you know, everyone to win, right? Uh, your clients won't lose anything because you know it's not like your income tax influences them. Uh, the the country will benefit massively for having people with. I would say that probably whoever picks up on this has a higher level of income than uh, the than the residents. So although they won't be paying any income tax, they will definitely be contributing to the local economy's growth because they will be spending there and there's a lot of neat stuff to spend on in Cabo Verde. And <laughs> the, the, and definitely it's, it's good for you because, you know, just imagine, especially if you're in America or, or in one of, I mean, for me, income tax, that's something like 40% of what I make, right? So <laughs> if I, you know... It, maybe I'll apply. <laughs> Who knows? But it, it, uh, that's definitely, you know, uh, if, if for a year I can earn 40% more, 
that's quite something, right? And I guess that many people, you know, will be in the same situation. So this is definitely a great opportunity. I urge you to check it out. And this is yet another way in which uh, remote work really helps, you know, make the economy work for you, you know, essentially, it makes the economy work for you. And, and it, 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 really, it, it really is not a zero-sum game. This benefits everyone involved. It was very wise of the, the, Cap, the, the Cape Verde um, government to understand that, okay, you know, it, it, we're not going to win. You know, we can let go of the income tax of these people because, well, number one, they wouldn't be working here anyway, so it's not like we're losing anything. And number two, they will definitely bring their expenses, they will consume, and then, you know, the, the, the Cabo Verdean government can just pick up on the extra in, on the income tax from the extra income of the locals. So it, it's definitely great. It's, it's good for everyone. It's good for the workers that save on income tax, and it's great for the locals that win more, and it's good for the government because eventually someone go, some, some of that goes into their pocket. I wish more people uh, would do this. I wish more countries would do this, more cities w w would do this. If you're listening to this and uh, you have decision-making power, in some of these, you know, smaller, more independent countries, consider it, right? See if your country has the infrastructure, as uh, as Cabo Verde does. Cabo Verde uh, has high-speed, reliable internet, and if the place, if the place where you're responsible for things has that kind of infrastructure, by all means, do it. You know, try to make it attractive, create attractive packages for digital nomads, for contractors. It's a very nice way to stimulate the local economy. So anyway, that's the virtual coffee chat for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit more lighthearted than, than usual because, you know, it can't always, it can't be business all the time, right? We're here in this uh, remote working lifestyle to enjoy and to have fun as well while we do the best work of our lives. So keep doing that. And if you want to do that more and better, head to thinkremote.com where we showcase the latest remote work news of interest, such as this one, and also give you the tips, guides, and tools that you need to be better at working remotely. This was Virtual Coffee Chat with Louis. If you enjoyed it, please press like, subscribe, and share. See you tomorrow.